As a feature main prime, it's a prime P such that 2P plus 1 is also prime. For example, 2 is prime, and 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5 is prime, so 2 is also feature main prime. 5 is called a safe prime because these are actually used in cryptography. Uh, 3 is prime and 7 is prime, so 3 is a sophie main prime and 7 is a safe prime. The sophie main primes, of course, are named after the brilliant number theorist and mathematician sophie Germain. Now, if you start with a sophie main prime, like 3, 7 is prime, so is 7 also a sophie main prime? Well, it's not because 15 is not prime. When you try to come up with chains like this of sophie main primes, that's called a Cunningham chain. For example, 2 is prime, 5 is prime, 11 is prime, 23 is prime, 47 is prime, but 95 is not prime. This is a Cunningham chain of length 5. And Cunningham chains is a cool thing to study because, well, we want to be able to generate primes in some way, and if we could find such chains that generate primes, then we would be able to have some sort of prime generator. However, these Cunningham chains are hard to find. For example, the first time you find a Cunningham chain of length 7, it starts with 1,122,659. And in the Wikipedia page, you can see the longest Cunningham chains. In this case, we're talking about Cunningham chains of the first kind. And the longest that we have been able to find is of length 17. And you can see under 17 and first kind, you can see this very large number that is the first prime in this chain of 17 primes. However, a Cunningham chain cannot be infinite. There cannot be a prime such that p and then 2 times that prime plus 1 and so on. That is an infinite chain of primes for the following reason. If you figure out what numbers you are getting from p, you are getting p, 2p plus 1, 4p plus 3, 8p plus 7, and so on. And uh, as you go up, that is the general formula for the nth prime in a would-be Cunningham chain is of the form 2 to the n times p plus 2 to the n minus 1. And that number at some point will be composite. Since Fermat's little theorem tells me that 2 to the p minus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo p, then the p minus 1 prime in that tower, the p sub p minus 1, will be 2 to the p minus 1 times p plus 2 to the p minus 1 minus 1, but that last factor in the parenthesis is divisible by p. So the whole number is divisible by p, and therefore it will be composite. 